banging with the wrong crowd and giving in to peer pressure. It, it's horrible. I mean, you know, all you're doing is, is constantly, you know, driving around searching for this, you know, whatever your vice is. Decisions that can change a teenager's life forever, often leading to an arrest and time behind bars. Tonight, the criminal conscience. Joey Jaza grew up in Pinellas Park. He had a normal childhood. That is until prescription pills came into the picture. Jen Holloway shows us his struggles and the consequences. You know, nobody plans to follow a path of destruction, but truly it can happen in the blink of an eye. Zaza found out the hard way that addiction can lead to drama, loss, even a criminal record. You know, just something to make you feel good and warm and fuzzy. And uh... Joey Zasa grew up an all-American happy kid, a football player and graduate of Pinellas Park High School. But it wasn't until I would say probably 21, 22, that things kind of, you know, went too far. Tried the wrong things, did the wrong things, talked to the wrong people, hung out with the wrong people. They would go out to the casino and. You know, I'd get messed up or whatever, and we'd go out there and party, and it was just, you know, a fun thing to do. It wasn't a, a problem then. But soon as drug use increased and a dependency formed. It's a constant cycle. It, it's, it's a bad cycle, and it, it's a time-consuming cycle to keep up with it. So you're constantly planning your next high. Yeah, absolutely. Constantly. It's, I mean, all day, and it gets worse and worse. But when he crashed his motorcycle, things took a turn for the worse after going to a pain management doctor. And then I was, you know, I was doing it the right way. I I had a prescription. There's nothing wrong with that, right? And because he was spending so much time staying high, he neglected to pay a bill for rented equipment, a felony in Florida. So that's where I got my initial charge and was arrested, and, and that's what started me being in the system. Because when you're in there, you know, you can't get out. You, you're controlled by, you know, you're controlled by the guards. You're controlled in what you do. You're controlled in when you sleep. It's tough, you know, because for me, I eat a lot, and you go in there, and you only have three meals a day, and they're not huge meals. They're not giving you steak and potatoes. <laughs> they're giving you bread and uh, mystery meats. After six months behind bars, Zasa tells me he walked into the sunlight with a new attitude. I felt like I was 16 again because, you know, I got my license in a car, and I was like, wow, this is great. You know, I, I have freedom again. These days, Zasa has a full-time job and a fabulous boss, and he has aspirations to fulfill his dreams of working on cars in his own garage one day soon. Great kid. Yeah. Good cautionary comeback. tale to so many people, though. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen. You're